Hello, we are welcome. In this video, we are going to solve this exponential problem. We have 2 to the power of root t equals 16 to the power of t. We are solving for all values of t that satisfies this equation. Now, here is the base here. And this base is an even number. Here is another base here. And this is also an even number. Now you have even number here. And you have another even number here. Now, we are going to equate the exponents, but before we can do that, the two bases must be the same. So I can have 2 to the power of root t equals for 16, I can easily write it as 2 to the power of 4. 2 to the power of 4 is 16, and this is raised to the power of t. Now, if you have a to the power of n, and this is raised to the power of n, this equals a to the power of n times n. So I'm going to apply this identity here. So we we'll have 2 to the power of root t. And this equals 2 to the power of 4 times t. That is 4t. So at this point, if you observe, the base here is the same as the base here. And we can make use of this particular identity. If you have a to the power of b, and this equals a to the power of c, when the two bases are the same, you can compare the exponent. So what you are going to have will be a b will equate the c, so you have b equals c. Now, if you apply the same identity here, that means you are going to equate this exponent. So what you are going to have will be root t equals 4t. Now. At this point, we need to eliminate the square root. And for you to achieve that, we raise each of these to the power of 2. So what happens here is that the square root here will eliminate the square here. Because this square root of t is the same thing as writing t to the power of 1 over 2. So if you raise it to the power of 2, you then multiply this exponent. You are simply going to have t to the power of 1 over 2 times 2. This is the same thing as 2 over 2, and this equals t. So the square root of t to the power of 2 is the same thing as t. So that is why this cancel out. We have t, and this equals for this. We are going to distribute this power to each of the terms inside this bracket. Now, for instance, if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So that means we are going to have 4 power 2 times t power 2. So at this particular point, we are going to have t equals 4 power 2, that is 4 times 4, and that is 16 times t power 2. So from here you can have t equals 16 times t power 2. This is 16 t power 2. So right now, what you are going to do will be to move this over here, and you are going to equilibrate into zero. So it's going to change to negative t. You have 16 power 2 minus t, and this equals zero. So at this particular point, there's t here, and there's t here. So you can factor that t out. You have t times, if you divide 16 times t squared divided by t, you have 16t minus t divided by t will give you 1. You have 1, and this equals 0. So, furthermore, what you can do is to equate this to 0, and also equate this to 0. So, for the first one, you have t equals 0. This is the first solution. Now, for this, you have 16t minus 1 equals 0. So, what you are going to do, move this negative 1 over here. You have 16t equals, this becomes 1. So from here, we are going to isolate t. That means you want to make t the subject. So I divide this by 16. I divide this by 16. So 16 eliminates 16. I have t equals 1 over 16. Now, we have two different solutions for t. We have t equals 0. And you also have t equals 1 over 16. Now. Those are the two different solutions. So what we are going to do will be to insert 
those two solutions for t right in this particular equation and let's check if the left hand side will equate the right hand side so let's do that right now we have check and we can copy out the two solutions we have t equals zero and also we have t equals 1 over 16. Now, what we are going to do will be for us to insert it right here. So I have 2 power root t equals 16 power t. Now, what I'm going to do will be to start with t equals 0. So let's consider this one here. I'm going to have 2 power square root 0 equals it's, it's 16 power 0. Now, if you observe square root of 0 is 0, so we have 2 power 0 equals 16 power 0. So right now, if you observe any number or alphabet raised to a power of 0 is 0, it's 1. Any number or alphabet raised to a power of 0 is 1. So you have 30 power 0, this is 1. So the 2 power 0 here is 1. And this equals 16 power 0 is 1. Now, the only exception to this rule is when you have 0 power 0. This is the only exception. That means this one is not equal to 1. But every number or alphabet raised to the power of 0 is 1. So this has satisfied the equation. Now, let's consider the second solution, which is t equals 1 over 16. So we have 2 power root t equals 16 power t. So I have 1 over 16. So I'm going to have 2 power square root of 1 over 16 equals 16 power 1 over 16. Now look at it here. If you have square root of a over b, this equals square root of a divided by square root of b. So I'm going to apply this same identity here. That means I'm going to have this is 2 to the power of square root of 1 divided by square root of 16. And this equals 16 to the power of 1 over 16. So from here, I can have 2 to the power of square root of 1 is 1 divided by square root of 16 is 4. And this equals 16 power 1 over 16. Now, don't forget the fact that 16 equals 2 to the power of 4. So I can come over here, I have 2 power 1 over 4 equals 16. I have 2 power 4, and this is raised to the power of 1 over 16. Now, at this point, I apply this identity, a power n, raised to the power of n, equals a power n times n. So I multiply this exponent out. I'm going to have 2 power 1 over 4 equals 2 power 4 times 1. That is 4 over 16. And from here, 4 can cancel itself once, cancel 16, we have 4. So what we are having at the end is 2 power 1 over 4 equals 2 power 1 over 4. Now, if you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of a power 1. And this will give you the n root of a, because a power 1 is a. So, if you come over here, 2 power 1 over 4 is the same thing as saying the fourth root of 2 power 1. This equals the fourth root of 2 power 1. And since 2 power 1 is 1, we are going to have the fourth root of 2, and this equals the fourth root of 2. So this left hand side equates the right hand side. So this shows that our equation and solutions are obviously very correct. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Thank you and goodbye.